so the uk prime minister has been facing a lot of backlash due to migration into uk just last year alone according to statistics 1.2 million people migrated to uk of course 557,000 or so left the uk meaning that there was a net migration of more than 600,000 people to the united kingdom and the prime minister rishi sunak has been facing a lot of backlash because the migration of people to uk is causing a lot of strain on the uk resources so there are some changes proposed and these changes in my opinion are not favorable they want to implement major changes in the indefinite leave to remain and this is what i'm going to be talking about in today's video like i indicated last time in my last video when i said the health and care worker visa is slowly but surely coming to an end because the minister wants to reduce migration to uk now the minister has proposed some new changes and guys i know i do get a lot of people who say oh where is this information coming from it's not there in the uk government all the information which is communicated does not necessarily mean that it's supposed to automatically go into the uk government at times they announce some things at times they make proposals way before it's actually added to the government website so do not expect that every information which is shared here if you go to the government website you are going to find it but i always leave links in the description box so that you see the source of the information if you are new to my channel my name is pauline popomoyo and this is the channel where we keep things real and without wasting any of your time guys let's get into it no comparison i'm a savage yeah. classy bougie gadget yeah. sassy moody hey. nasty hey. Yeah. hacking stupid what was happening yeah. what was happening i'm a savage so first of all what is indefinitely to remain if you move to come and work in the uk or to come and stay in the united kingdom you normally get your indefinite leave to remain after five years of working and living in uk which means you only become eligible to become a citizen after living and working for five years in the united kingdom so now they are saying they don't want uk to appear as a soft spot when it comes to migration and they want to make the rules stricter for people who migrate to uk and they now want to make it even stricter for want to get indefinite leave to remain so these are the proposed changes proposed change number one they now want to change the eligibility of indefinite leave to remain from five years to eight years now this means you have to live and work in uk for at least eight good years before you are eligible for indefinite leave to remain and what makes it even worse is that now the second proposal is that if you have any any criminal conviction doesn't matter what it is if you have any criminal conviction you'll be denied indefinite leave to remain which means it's going to be tougher and you have to be very careful that you don't have any criminal conviction and when i'm talking of any even if it's driving and they're convicted maybe for reckless driving or anything of that sort you will be denied indefinite leave to remain after eight good years so now when you're living and working in uk you have to be extra 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 careful to make sure that you are not convicted of any crime at all because no matter how small the crime is as long as you are convicted for it you will not get indefinite leave to remain another thing which they are proposing is that you know before you get your indefinite leave to remain you are supposed to write a life in the uk test so all along if you are over 65 years of age you do not write the life in the uk test but now what they are proposing is that regardless of your age whether you are over 65 whether you are 70 you have to write life in the uk test for you to be granted indefinite leave to remain so that's an exam that you need to read and prepare for regardless of how old you are even if you are 75 and you've got dementia you still have to take that exam and the last proposal is that you have to have schooled in uk for at least two years or worked in uk for at least two years this one is confusing me as well because i don't know when they're saying you have to have worked in uk does it mean that if you are a dependent maybe a wife who's not working you're not going to be eligible for indefinite leave to remain or you have to work for you to get indefinite leave to remain i don't know what the statement fully means but if you know what the statement means maybe you can explain down below for those who do not understand that is what they are proposing that you have to have at least worked for two years or be in school for two years i would understand in a situation whereby 
Kaya. I do understand in a situation whereby, for example, if you come into UK as a single mother and you've got children, or currently if you're a single mother and you come to UK, let's say maybe your children joined you maybe four years later when you're already here in UK. Even if they stay in UK for one year, if you are now eligible for indefinite leave to remain, that is your five years. If you're applying, you can apply for your children as well, which means they can all get indefinite leave to remain, even if they've been in UK for just one year, by the virtue of being your children. But now they are proposing that you have to have schooled for at least two years, which means your children, they'll have to wait for at least those two years before they can apply for indefinite leave to remain i don't know what you think of these changes guys are there major changes are there something that we need to worry about or what do let me know in the comment section take note according to a government source becoming a uk citizen is a privilege not a right those awarded the status should have earned it by contributing to our nation and it is important we can all speak to each other in a common tongue so guys even if you have lived and worked in the uk for eight years getting a citizenship is not a right but it is a privilege according to this source so guys these stricter measures are meant to stop people from coming to uk in my opinion because if you look at countries like america you go there you have your green card and in no time you can have your citizenship same applies to countries like australia you go there three years time you have your citizenship however the uk says they want to be similar to other european countries they want to make uk appear less of a soft touch when it comes to immigration this is all that i wanted to share with you guys or this is an update that i wanted to share with you guys and if you found this information to be helpful don't forget to share it with your friends who are coming to uk or who are already in uk and they don't have indefinite leave to remain and thank you so much for watching guys don't forget to like subscribe and share and turn on the notification bell so that you don't miss any of my videos thank you so much for watching i will see you in my next video bye like i am totally roasted now i have to complain at the end of the video i am totally roasted it's like so hot guys tomorrow i'm going to be pitch black because i've received enough suntan for today see you guys